hello friends uh, i am satyendra and today in this video i am going to tell you the important points in wkb method for solving the numericals so these are the very important points that you should remember if you are appearing for csir net gate jest bar etc exams in physics okay okay so let's see so we want to solve the schrodinger equation this is the schrodinger equation we want to solve psi is the psi of x p v is the v of x p is the p of x okay so <clears throat> this equation is the one dimensional equation in x okay so since we want to solve this equation so by wkb method we want to solve this equation by wkb method so by the wkb method the solution of this equation is this okay so you should remember this solution because this solution is frequently required in uh, to solve the numericals okay so in this equation you simply have to plug the value of the p and you have to solve this equation then you will get the solution okay so what is the p so the value of p is here okay the value the p is given by this equation you should remember the value of p p is nothing but just the, the momentum if you solve this you will find that this quantity has the dimension of the momentum okay so this is the momentum okay if you you can solve it then you will plug the value of p in this equation then you can solve it you will get the approximate solution of the schrodinger wave equation okay so now before that there's more important thing one more important thing the probability of finding the particle at x the probability of finding the particle at x can easily be find about can easily be found by taking the square of this wave function which i have taken it here so square of the wave function will give the probability of finding the particle at x so it this will give you the probability density this can be written like this in uh, in in while solving so i have already solved it okay so this is equals to <coughs> the c square over p so the this uh, what this means is that the probability of finding the particle at x is inversely proportional to the momentum that means the if the particle that means the uh, probability of finding the particle is inversely proportional to the velocity okay that means if the particle is moving rapidly then the chances of finding it will be very less okay and if the particle is moving slowly then there is the then the probability of finding the particle is more so this is what we should expect from the wave function okay so the, this gives the this gives the probability of finding the particle at x uh, okay okay so you should also remember this formula okay this is also an important formula that you should remember now let's come to the turning point so what is the turning points so the value of x for which this p of x equals to 0 are called the turning point so okay so the value of x for which this equation gives 0 is called the turning point so if x equals to a and x equals to b are the turning point then the value then the p at x equals to a and the p at x equals to b will be equals to 0 because a and b are the turning points okay so at this point e is equals to v that is the total energy is equals to the potential energy okay and you can readily see directly see from here okay so if p equals to 0 e and and v must be equals to 0 okay e minus v must be equals to 0 and that will give you e equals to v okay okay now let's come to for, comes further since i uh, let's see the plot of p with respect to x so i have plotted the p square with respect to x so the typical typical graph is here okay now you can see that this is the turning point as already explained okay so the turning point x equals to a that means at x equals to a the p is equals to zero okay okay so this is the turning point so in the wkb method okay in the wkb solution so the wkb solutions are not valid near the turning point x equals to a so why it is not valid at the turning point so you can see that this is the turning point this is the region around the turning point so the all the values of x near to the in this region okay for all the values of x in this region the wkb solutions are not valid the reason is that at x, x equals to a p equals to zero okay okay so the probability of finding the particle okay 
so you can see that this probability if p equals to 0 then this probability will become very so this probability will become very large okay this will become very large because the denominator goes to 0 and so this whole term will become very large on infinity or you can say that this term become undefined okay so that is why the solutions are undefined in this region okay so the wkb solutions are not varied near the turning point okay so it is very important to note down Now, it is very important for the students to remember the WKB quantization condition. Here, I am not going to show the derivation of this uh, uh, this quantization condition. Okay, but it is very, very, very important for you to remember this because lots of numericals based on WKB method can be solved if you remember this quantization condition. So, I will highly recommend you to remember this. Okay here a and b what are a and b a and b are the turning points okay here we have two turning points okay okay and p is the momentum that you have already seen here n is the <coughs> as any number okay that's the integer okay and pi pi is the pi and h naught is the planck's constant as uh, planck's constant over 2 pi okay so h naught equals to h over 2 pi okay not very so this is the quantization condition that you should remember okay now the it is important to note that wkb method is applicable only when the potential vx is slowly varying okay it is very very important for you to note this condition when the wkb method is applicable okay the reason is that the solution of the schrodinger wave equation which is the schrodinger wave equation is here can be written as this is the solution of the schrodinger wave equation okay here you you are looking at this is the p okay don't that get confused this is also the p so the solution can be written in this form only and only when this p is the constant and the p will be constant only and only if the v is constant okay so that means uh, this you can write the solution of the schrodinger wave equation like this only if v is constant and hence when the p is constant okay this is p when the p is constant okay now if v now what will happen now if v is not constant but the v the potential varies very slowly it varies very slowly and so the p will vary very slowly then the solution can be approximately written like this if the v varies very slowly then we can assume that still the solution will be uh, sinusoidal and the solution can be approximately written like this okay if the v varies very slowly okay in fact in fact if p should in fact p should uh, vary is very in fact p should vary slowly okay such that since the condition how the p should vary is that the p should vary in such a way that this inequality should be satisfied okay so the p should vary in such a way that this quantity should be very less and very less than this px okay so this is the condition okay for the validity of the uh, wkb solution okay so this is these all are the important points that i wanted to discuss with you okay so <clears throat> remember these points okay okay thanks for watching this video thank you very much if you like my video and if you want to support this channel okay for the students okay please uh, subscribe the channel share with your friends okay share the video with your friends and like the videos okay thank you very much